20 years after people. High-end hotels are only checking in. Vermin. Once lush golf courses have turned into acres of sand traps. And luxury swimming pools are now empty cesspools. This is the fate of the vacation destination called Palm Springs. We know what Palm Springs might look like 20 years after people, because there's a place just like it, only 60 miles away, where it's already happened. The Salton Sea is the largest lake in California, Conceived as a resort paradise for boaters, water skiers, and vacationers, it was once called the next Palm Springs. Instead, it became an empty wasteland of foul smells, abandoned homes, and acres of dead fish. The Salton Sea is one of the most beautiful places from a distance. And one of the most foul, feculent places when you get close up. Dead fish, a nice odor of ammonia, and you think, this is really hideous. The heyday of the Salton Sea was the 1960s and 70s. Vacation homes popped up like cactus blossoms. Crowds thronged the beaches, swimming, boating and water skiing during the day, and at night, sipping martinis at the yacht club. Now, the crowds at the Yacht Club are only pigeons. The vacation homes lie open to the elements. And RV campgrounds look more like burial grounds. These hookups all throughout the campground, they're kind of like tombstones to the dead campground. What happened to turn this lush oasis into an apocalyptic wasteland? It began in the 1970s. Masses of fish suddenly dying, floating to the surface by the thousands. The cause of the fish kills was agricultural runoff from local farms. Because of all these fertilizers running in there, we get this tremendous growth of algae. And as this algae dies, it falls to the bottom. And it creates a layer in the bottom of the sea where there's no oxygen. So we have bacteria that are eating all this dead organic matter and creating hydrogen sulfide gas. Hydrogen sulfide is a gas that is as toxic as cyanide, causing extreme damage to the central nervous system eventually destroying the ability to breathe. It was so deadly, it was used as a poison gas in World War I. It's just as deadly today. And at times, it can kill millions of fish. A few years ago, about seven million fish died at once. The fish kills continued. Then the birds that ate the fish also got sick and died. Residents claimed they could smell and taste the gas in the air. People stopped coming to the Salton Sea. At its height, the population of Salton Sea was around 15,000 people, with thousands more arriving on weekends. 
But vacation homes were abandoned. Resort development stopped in mid-construction. RVs, boats, even the yacht clubs, all left behind. Today, where thousands once lived and played, only a few hundred people remain in each of the tiny shoreside communities, surrounded by the ruins of vacation homes. Decades after being abandoned, the effects of water, sun, and salt are clear. This is an old trailer. I, I think it's an Airstream trailer. And it's been ex exposed to the environment for 40 or 50 years at least. After people are gone, once one of the doors starts flopping in the wind, or perhaps one of the windows breaks, and the environment enters this trailer, the whole thing just becomes food for the environment. All the materials that are composite or man-made are falling apart. This here is like masonite or particle board. It's decaying much more rapidly than the solid timber. Like the people dribbling away from the toxic sea, the structural elements slowly disappear from the homes. This is about a 40 or 50 year old building. And although we still have some structure or frame in place, there's not much left. Once the, the roof went away, the windows are gone, there's, I don't see any doors, any glass. It's all actually deep, several feet down underneath this salt and sand. Ultimately, it'll go back to being desert with a lot of garbage on it. But in this desert of a future, time and nature may lead to a 4th of July display bigger than ever.